Hello, and welcome to this edition of ASP Hot Topic Webisodes. I'm Kevin Ross, manager of the Medical Device Manufacturer Program at ASP. In this webisode, we'll address one of the most common questions asked by our customers today. What information should I follow to determine approved cleaning and sterilization instructions? This issue of IFU compliance is a hot topic and area of focus for many healthcare facilities right now. And we're going to explore this subject today, looking closely at what the AMI standards have to say. In addition, we'll also discuss some practical options for you and your facility. Here to give us an overview of the specific changes to the AMI sterilization standard, ST79, is Director of Clinical Education for ASP, Barbara Trattler. Thank you, Kevin. And let me start off by saying that the timing to discuss this issue couldn't be better. At the 59th Annual AORN Congress this year in New Orleans, many facilities had this question top of mind. And just as we did on the convention floor, we hope to shed some light on the changes that directly impact all of you who are watching today. First, let's look at the amendment to the AMI standard ST79 for sterilization. In section 722, it states, the written IFU of the device manufacturer should always be followed. The reusable medical device manufacturer is responsible for ensuring that the device can be effectively cleaned and sterilized. The manufacturer's written IFU should be kept on file and periodically reviewed for any updates. If there are no specific written IFU instructions in the labeling, then the manufacturer should be contacted directly to provide a documented method. AORN also supports AMI ST79 and state in their AORN recommended practices for cleaning and care of surgical instruments and powered equipment that the manufacturer's written validated instructions for handling and reprocessing should be obtained and evaluated to determine the ability to adequately clean and reprocess the equipment within the healthcare facility before purchasing surgical instruments and powered equipment. Because the Joint Commission and other agencies want to make sure you are following the most updated standards and instructions, it has become the facility's responsibility to comply with the latest IFUs. Medical device manufacturers, or MDMs, are continually updating IFUs to meet regulatory guidelines. So even an IFU that is only two to three years old may already be out of date. So how can you streamline this process of being up to date with IFUs? I'm going to turn it back over to Kevin, who will tell you about the work ASP has done to help make compliance with IFUs much easier. Thank you, Barbara. In this dynamic environment and increasing focus on IFU compliance, we're pleased to report that Sterad systems are currently listed in IFUs by many device manufacturers for terminal sterilization. At ASP, we work closely with many medical device companies to make sure we maintain the most current IFUs for instruments listed in our online reference tool, the Sterad Sterility Guide, also known as the SSG. Every device listed in the SSG is backed by an acknowledgement from the device manufacturer in their labeling or instructions for use. Three. It's worth noting that we're constantly adding new devices to the SSG. In fact, in the last two months alone, we added thousands of listings. As a general purpose sterilizer, Sterad systems can process many stainless steel accessories and instruments as well as the critical devices listed on the SSG. As a Sterad Systems customer, you can access the SSG a couple of different ways. You can log on to the SSG website that you see here, or you can download the SSG mobile app onto your iPhone, Blackberry, and Android devices. Or visit the mobile app download site and scan the QR code you see on the screen with your smartphone. For more information on processing devices in Sterad Systems, you can email the Medical Device Manufacturers Program at ASP at mdmprogram at its.jnj.com. Thank you for joining us today, and stay tuned for the next edition of the ASP Hot Topic webisodes as we address more issues and questions that matter to you.